All right, let's listen to this together. If you aren't getting sick at least once or more a year, you're probably too stressed out. If you are never getting sick, mm -hmm. it means your immune system is suppressed, usually from stress. What is this guy talking about? Well, that's not how it works. You don't even need medical credentials to know this. If you took biology in like second or third grade, they would have taught you that you need the immune system to mount an immune response, right? When your immune system is suppressed, all your immune cells, like your B cells, your T cells, your natural killer cells, macrophages, these are all cells that are supposed to mount an immune response. They're all suppressed. They're not going to be able to do their job to find the pathogen and to eliminate it. And so something like a common cold or a flu, something that would be probably a minor infection for some people, when they're chronically immunosuppressed from chronic stress and chronic cortisol, they're going to have a really, really bad infection. They might even end up with getting septic. On top of that, if you have something like tuberculosis, like latent TB, herpes, or if you have shingles, those are things that actually get activated and they get much worse when you have chronic stress and chronic elevation of cortisol. So it actually is the opposite. Chronic stress, chronic cortisol will ha hamper your immune system and then you're way more likely to get sick. And then he goes on to talk about traveling. Let's go there. Go. And they're, they're never, never sick. sick. Right. Ryan. Right. Until they go on vacation. And then it, yeah. And as soon as the stress hormones come down and the immune system gets more active. Uh -huh. Boom, it hits them like a ton of bricks. Right, that makes sense. Uh, so the, 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 the stress system is very involved. The reason you get sick when you travel is because you're exposed to a lot of pathogens. When you're all crowded in public transportation, you're crowded in an airplane. When, we, when you're on an airplane, people are coughing and breathing all over you and circulating the same air. I mean, this is a very common reason why people get sick. Be careful what you read, be careful what you watch. Make sure whatever you're watching is a credible source. I follow people like Peter Atia, Andrew Huberman, David Sinclair. These are physicians. These are PhDs who have tons of clinical research, clinical background. All their podcasts have timestamps with the clinical studies so you can reference them. And don't fall into the trap of believing what a lot of these people are saying that makes no sense. That's actually the opposite of, you know, hundreds of years of research. And they're just kind of